Hey everyone, what's going on? Baru here, and today I want to give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to basically make somewhere around uh, 7,000 to upwards of 10,000 Glimmer in about an hour. Now, um, you can't really spend too much in the beta, but uh, when the, once the full game comes out, I figured I'd give you guys a way to... Uh, you know, get, get your glimmer supplies up, and it will you'll net yourself around around 1300 uh, to 1700 in about 10 minutes. Um, I have this little route that I like to do in the starting area, and I'm going to do it a couple times so that way you guys can see that um, it's not just sort of like a one run type thing, and I'm just going to show like the best one. No, uh, this is actually one of my drier runs. I usually get uh, sometimes upwards of 2,000 in 10 minutes, which has been possible. But, uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go hunting. Let's just jump right into it. So as soon as you land, you're going to want to go right into this little uh, cave right here. And uh, the chest can spawn either on the right side there uh, or at the very back. The next place you're going to want to check is going to be underneath the stairs. You can have a silver chest underneath those set of stairs right there. The next chest that you're going to be checking is going to be um, up in top in the top right corner. It'll be on top of one of those uh, support beams. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually pop up in this run. Like I said, this is one of my drier runs. And then you're going to want to check basically every single cave. Uh, you'll be able to see the chest if there is one in there because they do have these green lights on them. And then here's the next one that you're going to want to check. And you'll see that there is the uh, the green lights that I'm talking about. Very easy to see the chest. And about 142 Glimmer plus a green item, uh, which isn't too bad. Now you're going to want to head down here. If you're not too comfortable with doing this, uh, this chest, then kind of avoid it because these are level 20 enemies. Unfortunately, the enemies are already aggroed, uh, which kind of made it harder for me to get past them. But uh, there wasn't a chest in there to begin with, so it's not that important. Uh, the chest in that room will always be in that little that little side pocket right there if there is one There can also be a chest right at the entrance of that uh, Level 20 enemy room But yeah, if you're not comfortable doing that uh, You don't by any means you don't have to do that room But uh, it usually does have a chest in it except that time not that time But anyway, uh, just go ahead and head over to the next section over here And you're going to just hug the left and you're going to find another cave Pretty much every cave that you go into has a chance to spawn one of these chests, and there's another one uh, right there. I think in this clip, in the span of about 12 minutes, I managed to net myself around around 14 chests. And then I go across the airplanes here. Uh, now, at the tip of this airplane, there can be a chest right there, right in front of me. And then we're going to go ahead and move into the next uh, cave here. The good thing about this route is that you're not going to have to, you don't need any gear. You do not need to kill a single thing on this route. Uh, you just simply just go on your glider. So uh, obviously you're going to want that first, but uh, you can get that within like the first 30 minutes of the game. So it's not too bad. And then just keep going in these caves and uh, hopefully you'll be able to find a chest in here. Uh, from what I've noticed, the chest sort of seem to cycle around. Uh, the map so if you find if you find a bunch of caves without any chests in that just means they're in different uh, different locations or different different caves so it's really not too big a deal if you don't find it then we've got a section over here this this part right here is usually pretty good about spawning spinny metal so I grab that and there is also a chest over here that chest right there usually shares with the one in this room. So if you find it over there, um, you're not going to see one in that room. But, you know, I like to check both just in case. Now, there's sometimes one underneath this uh, wing right there. And then there's some under uh, underneath that metal, as well as potentially also being in this room. And then that will pretty much uh, wrap out the route, except for, like, there's one chest in that little corner right there at some point. But that'll pretty much wrap up the route. Um, like I said, this will net you about 1,500 Glimmer on average every 10 minutes or so, which is somewhere around, you know, about 9,000, which is not too bad considering uh, a, a new ship is, like, 
three thousand glimmer and a new glider is about two thousand. So if you wanna if you wanna get your if you wanna get a green glider and a new ship really quickly, just do this for about uh, ten to twenty minutes and you'll have all the glimmer that you need. As well as being able to uh, if you wanna do this continuously, you can uh, get your glimmer supplies up and then you can spend the, all of that at the cryptarch because uh, if you spend if you buy engrams from him uh, you'll be able to level him up, which is going to help you get those higher level engrams. So uh, this is definitely a good method for getting those engrams, uh, leveling him up, getting the higher level ones, uh, which will definitely be more useful uh, once the full game comes out. And like I said, it's in the top right there above the uh, building block, but unfortunately he never, uh, or the, the chest never decides to actually spawn there, which is a little unfortunate because I wanted to show it to you guys. But yeah, um, that is pretty much going to wrap it up. I'm going to go ahead and show one more time in here uh, about sliding past the enemies. You notice they freshly spawn this time. That makes it extremely easy. And out of the corner of my eye, I see the little green lights. There we go. And then once you do get the chest, just have them kill you. It's faster to, it's faster to die than it is to walk back up. So... Uh, assuming assuming the enemies are not already aggroed by someone else, you shouldn't have too much of a too bad of a time getting past them and grabbing that chest. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sort of let this go through a little bit longer. Uh, just let the farming show show it for itself. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this, uh, be sure to hit the like button. Help support me in what I do and. Uh, when the full game comes out, I will definitely be doing guides on uh, farming in different locations. I'm definitely messing around in every part of the beta to see if there's uh, faster ways to get Glimmer because, you know, we're going to need a lot of it for uh, buying engrams and things like that. So if there are farming locations on the different planets like Moon, uh, Mars, I will definitely be making guides for those. But uh, from what I've seen, this is one of the best areas in, for right now to get Glimmer until I can find a higher level area. I tried going into the level 20 area, and I found a route uh, where I can actually avoid all fighting. But unfortunately, there are no chests in uh, the level 20 area to farm, unfortunately. So, uh, I was a bit bummed out by that. But it makes sense since this is a, uh, a beta here. Also, note that uh, this route does have a lot of spin metal on, the, uh, on it, so you can... When you get about 40 uh, spin metal, you can turn that in and uh, get, I think, some reputation as well as some points for that. So uh, definitely not bad for that. Although you're not going to be getting too much spin metal. Because I've, I've noticed that the from the alpha to the beta, the spin metal drop rates have been kind of low. I'll, I'm trying to look for a better area to farm the uh, the, the spin metal on. But yeah, for, for farming Glimmer, this is probably the best area I've found so far. And now I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, farming route run its course one more time. And on top of those pipes right there is another location that you can potentially get um, potentially get a chest. But I've only seen those like in one in every 30 runs. So it's not very common to have them up there. And right there you saw that was the one underneath the uh, plane wing that I was telling you guys about. I believe I do get one. In, yeah, I do get one in the, uh, the dark room here. And the dark room... I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, whenever you're out in the wild, just in general, always check those dark spawn rooms, as they have they always have a very high chance of having a chest in them. Almost every area is going to have at least one chest um, in every dark room that you find. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you all for uh, watching this video. Uh, if this method doesn't end up working on the launch of the game, I'll definitely be working on new uh, routes uh, for farming chests. Hopefully Bungie doesn't like completely nerf chest farming because it really is only for glimmer uh the gear you get from this uh, i will say though is uh it's almost always your level so if you need to find some white gear that is your level you can do that however greens are obviously going to be better but you can break down the uh, you can break down the weapons that you get for weapon parts uh as well as um just getting extra gl glimmer in general i think in this run I get an extra like 70 glimmer just from breaking down the random whites that I got, which isn't too bad, but uh, it could, could definitely be better. But you also do get weapon parts from this. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, farm run its course one more time. I want to thank you guys for 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Destiny video. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, this content, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.